NBA players who absolutely hate Michael Jordan. Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. And comment down below by saying I subscribe to enter this month's shoutout giveaway. Number 1. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Michael Jordan may be an even better marketer than he is a basketball player. A consummate businessman, Jordan refuses to discuss controversial social topics to ensure maximum profits for his merchandise. In stark contrast to MJ, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is an outspoken activist who received the Presidential Medal of Freedom Award from former President Barack Obama in November 2016. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar <laughs> Abdul-Jabbar has publicly decried Jordan's unwillingness to speak about human rights issues in the name of money, showing his hate for Jordan. Number 2. Richard Hamilton The 6'3", 195-pound Hamilton, who Washington drafted 7th overall in 1999, asked his airness about joining the Jordan brand team. He'd look at me and say, hey Rip, my sneakers for all stars, said Hamilton, 39. And at that time, I'm like, wow, really? Hamilton averaged 20 points per game, 3.4 rebounds, and 2.7 assists over 63 games in his lone year alongside Jordan. Washington sent Hamilton to the Detroit Pistons in September 2002. The two-time Big East Player of the Year found his groove in Motown and became a three-time All-Star. More importantly, Hamilton was a key contributor to the Pistons' 2004 NBA title squad. Hamilton was probably too unseasoned to broach business with his airness. Regardless, Jordan didn't have to be so arrogant and spiteful and Hamilton evidently hasn't forgotten the nasty exchange. Number 3. Reggie Miller Interestingly, Michael Jordan's Bulls played the Indiana Pacers in the playoffs only once. It was in Mike's final year in Chicago when the Bulls barely outlasted the Pacers in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals. MJ was destroying Reggie in this series, averaging 31.7 points while allowing Miller to surpass a 20-point mark only twice. Still, Reggie never backed down from the trash-talking Jordan. Therefore, it's not strange that these two guys got into the fist fight during the 1992-93 regular season. Mike didn't like Reggie since Miller's rookie season and Reggie hates him for this reason. Now Michael Jordan and Reggie Miller having a go at it. And I mean we get fist rolling. Here come the Number 4, Isaiah Thomas. Michael Jordan and Isaiah Thomas are personal and professional foes. Thomas Pistons consistently overwhelmed and battered Jordan's Bulls in the late 1980s. Finally, after years of frustration, the Bulls unceremoniously swept the two-time defending champions Pistons in the 1991 Eastern Conference Finals. Thomas and his fleet of bad boys refused to shake hands with Jordan and the Bulls following the humiliating series. One year later, a vengeful MJ threatened to boycott the 1992 Summer Olympics in Barcelona if Thomas made the dream team. Jordan's ultimatum resonated with the selection committee and Thomas was essentially banned from the squad. Jordan didn't want to play with Isaiah, said Dream Team member Clyde Drexler. Two championships in a row, always an all-star, and Isaiah can't make it? I didn't like that. It's not the player's choice. It's who's supposed to be there. If you don't like me, I don't give a f we're competitors. You're not supposed to like me. But when one player has the ability to leave another player off, we've lost control of the system, Drexler added. Number 5. Robert Parrish Robert Parrish was named one of the 50 greatest players in NBA history in 1996. The 7-foot, 235-pound Parrish won three rings as a Boston Celtic and was enriched into the Hall of Fame in 2003. A 43-year-old Parrish inked a two-year pact with the Bulls in September 1996. Per usual, the 6'6", 220-pound Jordan tried to torment an outsider. Much to his embarrassment, a 33-year-old Jordan quickly realized that the chief was not a man to provoke. As reported by Mackie McCullen of ESPN, in one of his first practices with the Bulls, Parrish botched one of the players and was amused to find Jordan jawing at him just inches from his face. I told him, I'm not as enamored with you as these other guys. I've got some rings too, Parrish recalled. At that point, he told me, I'm going to kick your ass. I took one step closer and said, no you really aren't. After that, he didn't bother me. Number 6. Stefan Marbury Stefan Marbury may be a more prominent individual in China than Michael Jordan is. The 6'2", 205-pound Marbury, a two-time All-Star, didn't realize his full potential while employed in the association. Ironically, at the somewhat exchanged age of 33, Marbury matured into an icon after signing with the Sanxi Zongyu, Brave Dragons of the Chinese Basketball Association, or the CBA, in January 2010. Marbury has dominated overseas and has secured three CBA championships over the past seven years.
Off the court, Marbury have consistently bashed Jordan for the obscene cost of his sneakers. I'm off the kids getting killed for Jordans, tweeted Marbury. 40, a remarkably generous and charitable man. I hate that this dude won't change that. He's greedy. Michael faked Jordan is a sellout, period. He forgot which hole he came out of. The shoes that Marbury endorses mainly cost $14.98. This brings us to the end of our video, I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.